Hey guys, welcome back. This video, I wanted to talk about what I like to call a single line if statement. And I, I guess that's what it's called. I don't know if there's an official name for it or not. <laughs> but basically, we have done if statements like where you know you have if and then you have the condition and then you have the body. Well, a lot of people like to simplify this and they just get rid of these curly braces. And what they do is they put the, the uh, body right next to the if statement. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. It's really simple, so this video is not gonna be too crazy complex, but I'm going to create a one line if statement that is very easy to read and very easy to write. So we're gonna do a printf. And this is our if statement. Oh, gosh, why can I not type, golly. Okay, so this is our if statement, and it is a working if statement, and I'll show you that it is. So let's compile this. And I got an error. Okay, so if true, I got to include the uh, standard bool. So, or you could just put one there if you'd prefer. Okay, so it outputs true, and I can tell you that it is a working if statement because if we put false here, it's not going to do it. See, there's no output, so it is a functional if statement, and these are interesting because. They, in my opinion, they do make it easier to read because this is very simple. It keeps the line count lower and it's just really easy to see what's going on. One issue though, and this is when I would say to not use one of these if statements, is if you decide that you want to put this on the next line, that is where, oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. And you can see it still works, uh, so I could I could still execute this as if a norm, it's a normal if statement. And I see a lot of if statements like this. And I would say that this is a very bad coding practice. And the main reason is because one day you're going to say, oh, you know what? Since this is true, I'm gonna do this plus something else. So you might go down here and let's just say, I don't know, let's say we have a score or something. We might say score plus plus. But the thing with these if statements that don't have the curly braces is that it only executes the first one after the uh, if statement, which means this is going to happen all the time. The first statement is only is the only one evaluated. The second statement happens all of the time. So if we print out score, let's uh, just try this with true and then try it with false. So it's true, it prints out six, if you can see it right there in that bottom. And then when I make it false, I'm gonna also do a new line here. You can see it also prints six. So either way it prints six, which is definitely a problem. Like if you know what you're doing, it's, it's not a problem, but the issue is it's indented. So anyone's going to look at this and assume it's supposed to be part of this if statement, when in reality it should be back here. And it's just something that can really easily happen if you're not careful. So my rule of thumb is that the only time I ever use these if statements is if I put the the statement that I want to execute on true on the same line because I, uh, I've i drilled that into my brain. Thus, anytime I see like this here indented, I know something's not right. It's, just, it's giving me this odd feeling and I should probably bring that back here. Or if I actually do want this to increment when it's true, then I would use curly braces like a normal if statement. So those are your options. Uh, it's up to you if you guys think this is a good coding practice. And also, just wanted to show you guys one other thing, is you know we might put a semicolon here like this and put this print statement right here. And let's say this is false. Let's execute this and see what happens. So this gives us a warning. Now let's run it. You can see that it prints true and six. It prints true even though it's false. And this is uh, interesting because this is a legitimate statement. So as a result, if this is true, and we output it, it still executes true. 
because this is the only thing that's happening when this is evaluated as true. So this is not going to run in other programming languages. Like if you were to do this in C sharp, it probably isn't going to work. And as a result, C is a little bit more uh, dangerous. So just be really careful not to accidentally put a semicolon there. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully that was nice and clear and that you understand the, the single line if statement. All right, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this series, please be sure to check out the description where I'll have a link to my C programming crash course, which is a whole series of fun and brain explosion. So definitely something you'd be interested in. Basically, it's going to encapsulate all the content from this series, but it's gonna do it a lot quicker and without a lot of the fluff. So not that I'm intentionally fluffing this, it's just that I like to explain things in a lot of depth, but the crash course is more for review and prep for interviews, so it's going to be straight to the point. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.